It is 25th of August 2018. This is your main event for the evening. Andre Mikhailovich versus the retiring boxer after tonight, Simon Gillian. This is Peach Boxing trading bo punches. I am Benjamin Watt, and alongside me, the one and only <coughs> B Unit. B Unit. <laughs> Andre. Renegade Mikhailovich. Renegade. I think, this is a bold statement, but I think is currently the most promising young professional fighter in New Zealand. I think there's a lot of, a lot of promising boxers on this show so far, especially with David Light. But Andre, he's got the personality. He's got the style. He's got the mouth that's... The safe, showmanship. The showmanship. The raw fighting ability as well. He he punches with bad intentions. You know he's, he's got power. He he's tall for a middleweight. Um, he's got a lot of tools that you like to see. On the other hand, on, on the negatives, and I've got to talk about them. I think at times he he loads up a little bit with every shot. I'd like to see him at times just vary his punching power a bit because if you're throwing your hardest punch all the time, fighters can get used to that. Yes, exactly. And he does keep that left hand very low which means he's very susceptible for a right hand return and I think you, you saw his fight with the Filipino sensation what was his name? Uh, Jerome Pascua. Jerome Pascua, and Jerome had a lot of success in that fight with a right hand so he can get hit Andre can get hit but he boy oh boy he sure as hell can punch as well but Jerome Pascua, former number one in New Zealand he fought Jerome Pascua on his second fight and that is a big deal on his second professional fight and also just a side note he chooses his theme song the day of the fight and what he always does amazing music <laughs> Toto Africa I'm looking very very forward to seeing this young man fight and I, I include even David Nika when I say I think this young man is the most promising professional fighter in New Zealand David of course hasn't gone professional at this point but he will be soon. He um, will be soon. Another very, very promising. Oh, I love uh, the shining shorts. That's why one, one of the most exciting things to see is shiny shorts. Or is that just me? No, shiny shorts are always. It reminds me of uh, how Ricky Murphy had shiny shorts uh, before he uh, put up his gloves. You know, Andre comes with bad. Bad intentions. intentions. Now we've got Simon Julian all the way from Taranaki, all the way from New Plymouth. This is his retirement fight. He'll be hanging up the gloves after this fight, so... And I've got a feeling he's going to want to hang up the gloves after this fight. But when, you're, when you know it's a retirement fight, you want to leave with a bang. So he's going to be more hungry than he ever was. And he said yesterday... He's going to finish explode, explosionly, explo, ex, with, with explosions. <laughs> well, he could end, end with an explosion, or it could be an explosion on his cranium, who knows? Yeah, exactly. And he, he said that uh, he's had a lot of injuries, and it, his body is telling him it's time to hang out the gloves, this is his final fight. Very excited to see this young man fight. Now, this, I assume, I think, I know, this is not going to go the full rounds. It's not going to end in decision. It's going to end by knockout. How many rounds is it? Six rounds? Excellent interview with Andre Renegade Mikhailovich on the Glad Rap channel as well. If for anyone that hasn't seen it and wants to know more about him. Go and check it out. Josh does some excellent work there. Andre talks about what's been a pretty interesting and at times tough life. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's getting to learn more about him, know more what's behind Andre. And he admits he's had some attitude problems in the past as well and ha didn't do himself any favours as an amateur. Recognises that, knows he's, he's got to dedicate himself to, uh, to his career now. So... Uh, Let's see what happens. You know, and, and very, very happy with his coach. You know, um, with Andre, when I'm when when you actually go meet Andre or just be in the presence of Andre, it's just, you get a vibe where you just have to respect him. He's got and you just feel power like in him, you know?
Are you entertained? I am very entertained. <laughs> All the way from Taranaki. This is Simon Julian. And we wish Simon Julian the best because he's, he's in with a, a pretty explosive young fighter tonight. So yeah. All the best for both fighters. Fires Khan is the referee for the main event for this evening. Andre's staring him right in the eye. As I say, if I, if I have a criticism of Andre, it's that he probably loads up a little bit too much at the start. I'd like to see him just pace himself a little bit. I don't think we'll probably see that tonight. <laughs> but uh, but let's see. And here we go. Let's see what Andre does. Main event. Main event for this evening. Andre sticks out that jab. Oh. Right hand straight over the top of it. You feel that heavy punch. He didn't even land and it was still heavy. He's got that long lean look. Uh, you know, those kind of fighters, Deontay Wilder, Thomas Hearns, those lean guys, they, they, they don't look strong, but they can generate a lot of power. You know, uh, Simon actually landed quite a heavy jab, and uh, Andre actually did feel it, but it wasn't too much to As affect say, him. As I say, Andre does keep that left hand low, so he's always going to be susceptible to a right hand Oh, there we go. On as, his own. As, you, as you just said, but this mm. was a left hand that I got him, left hook. So Andre needs to be careful here. Simon can actually punch, but... That's the beautiful thing about boxing. Andre is the red hot favourite tonight, but one punch, as we've seen early tonight, can end it. Andre's not doing too much aggression. He's uh, he knows that Simon can actually punch, so he's. Oh, uh, there goes the there. bolo. Body shot. Body shot. But Simon counter punch in return. He looks looks nice and composed in there, Simon. Right? Let's see if uh, Andre will will do Simon Julian should I say? Yeah. To see if Andre actually does any more showmanship. As he each fight, he generally does something that's actually quite entertaining as well. I mean, I remember against Daniel Maxwell, he just randomly went. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's taking his time tonight, which I'm happy to see. He's got a nice jab. He's he's going to have a rich advantage over most middleweights he fights. So I like to see him work off that jab, use that range. Maybe he's not trying to actually go for the knockout. Maybe he's trying to last the full distance, get some extra rounds into him, see, and test themselves. I don't know, Benji, guys like Andre love knockouts. Oh, I, I would love <laughs> a knockout too, but maybe like the corner, uh, uh, like the coaches and managers are uh, just saying to him, like, let's get some rounds into you so you can get some more experience. Yeah. I think if, I think if he sniffs a knockout, he'll go for it. Oh, uh, who wouldn't? <laughs> Then again, I've seen a couple of people who sniffs a knockout and know that they could win any time that fight, but yeah. just let the fight keep on continuing. Just they do. Those. I don't think he's one of those. No. Oh, there we go. That counter oh. right. Again, he's using that jab well. So far, he's only thrown the jab pretty much by itself. He wants to start throwing that right hand off the jab soon. So he's probably just trying to outbox him. Just, yep, uh, there we pra go. Practice, uh, target practice with his jab. It's good to perfect the basics, so that's probably what he's trying to do. Looks like he's, running, he's eager to load up with that right hand. Just missed with it there. And you can hear him, like, every time he throws a punch, he's screaming. Yeah, that can sometimes be a little bit dangerous. You get your lungs puffed out, so it could actually... Well, also, if, if you're punching and you're making a noise and you just happen to get hit with a punch at the same time, it can break your jaw. Well, there's that too, and also, like, if that hit a good hit to the body, you just, you just lose breath. Having said all that, that's the first round in the bank for Mikhailovich, I would say. I oh yeah, control no, it with his jab. No doubt, Simon Gillian's doing an amazing job, though. I guess if you're the corner of Mikhailovich, what you're wanting to see in this round. It's just a little bit more work off that jab. He set the jab up in the first round. And now I think he, he'll be wanting to start throwing some combinations off the jab. Now, I just noticed that the doctor went to Simon Julian's uh, corner just before. I wonder why. I don't actually understand why. Is there a cut that we miss? Is there a broken nose that we've, we don't can't know. see? Um, let's actually see what, what happens. And I've certainly, in, in, in the few fights I've seen of Mikhailovich, already he looks like a... Uh, a, a vicious body punch, and I think they'll be wanting to see some 
some punches. Some punches to the body, some, some body work this, this round. And Simon Julian managed to actually get some head uh, punches as well. The landing, they're not, uh, they're not uh, light punches. That <coughs> Excuse me. Sort of a check hook there from Mikhailovich. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, Andre's not liking this. There's a little, looks like a little bit of a cut over Simon Brown's. Simon Julian. Simon Julian, should I say, sorry. So that's probably what they went to go over yeah. to have a look at. Keep thinking the fighter Brown from the, from the previous uh, yeah. fight. Just yeah, a little bit of a nick over Simon Julian's left eye. There you go. Yeah, I, okay, I can see, see that. It's a little bit hard to see from up here in the balcony, but I can see like a little bit of redness. So a wafting check hook, and this is. is Simon Julian just looking to sort of come forward a little bit, pressure Mikhailovich. Nice right hand over the top there from Mikhailovich. It was a nice right hand, but I don't think it actually landed. It, hit, it definitely hit the. It landed. It landed? Yeah. Not not flush flush, but it certainly landed. Maybe it's not too too cleanly. Now Andre is uh, controlling this fight, but he's almost playing with his food. He is, but he's a, he's he's got the speed, and when you've got the speed, I like to see fighters throw combinations, two three punch combination, then then get out. So as I said before, Simon, this is Simon's retirement fight, and as he keeps on saying, uh, his body is telling him maybe it's time to uh, like hang up the gloves, and maybe this cut is like just proving, uh, proving that his body is just, just saying, okay, this is our last fight. Another oh, right hand. nice over I right hand. The conditions in there look a little bit. Slip. I've seen both fighters slip a little bit. It's definitely taking a bit of traction off their punches as well tonight. No, I guess that's probably oh, well, at the end of the night. I wouldn't say yep. that sweat coming off everyone because that's not enough. Nice quality. body shot, straight uh, left hand body shot but there. A lot of water. Yeah, and the, the I tell you what, Julian certainly tucked his gloves in close to his body there. I don't think he liked that. And who would? I guess it's just this, one of those things that Andre could just hit heavy body shots and it could be over. Yeah, absolutely. He's one of the fighters I've seen out there that could end a fight with a body shot. Now he's having a bit of a chat to him. But he's again, he's yelling at Simon. I guess either try to intimidate him or... Or goad him, I think. Get under his skin. I just saw like when Andre like threw that last punch, he was like biting his mouth guard just then. Maybe just showing that aggression or frustration almost. Another, another round for Andre Mikhailovich. Get your gloves, get your arms off the ring ropes. Andre. Maybe this is another thing, another, this is another thing um, going on beyond to round three. It's not often he's managed to do this. He did it with, obviously, with Jerome Pascua. He did this with... Um, actually, I think that's the only person he's managed to do it with. Yes, it? it is. Yeah. So, uh, so it actually proves... How much uh, Simon Julian, how tough he is. Yeah, but I also think Andre hasn't opened up uh, as much as we've seen previously. I'd like to see more body work. I wonder if that's what his corner is asking for, more body punches. Well, either he's trying to give Simon a little bit of respect, knowing that this is his last, uh, no, last I, fight. No, he's got to get out there and do what he's got to do. He can't think about the opponent. Um, That's now, better. There we go. Hard body it's, shot. This, this might be coming into the end soon, but Andre's uh, still cautious from Simon's power. Hard body shot, then he, he gets out of dodge. Resets. You see what uh, Andre does. Throws a lead right hand there. Doesn't really quite connect. Simon did actually throw a body in the inside, but it wasn't that much of a th uh, much of a effectiveness. But Andre, there we go, little left left hook as he comes in, sort of a check hook. There goes oh! the follow shot, right to the body, body. shot and uppercut to the head. Pumps that jab out. This should be the last round if he's going to be throwing punches like that. You can see that Simon Julian's body is absolutely red. Simon Julian looks like a pretty tough rooster, though, to me. He's taken those shots well. Hasn't fired back with a lot, 
but he's taking the shots well. But yeah, he is. He's got he's got the chin. He's got the body. Andre throws a couple, and Simon throws one back, but nothing really to. I'd like to see a double jab from Simon or Andre. For, um, from Andre. Well, for both um, actually. Lead right hand that he threw uh, a little while back as well. It's hard hard to connect with a lead right hand. Floyd Mayweather does it very well, but Floyd Mayweather is one of the greatest fighters to ever live. So uh, Andre's doing quite well um, of trying. Uh, moving away from these uh, sorts of punches that Simon's throwing. Chopping right hand. Simon's doing a good job also uh, in his defence. Let's see what Andre does in the corner. But he's just letting him come out. Turns southpaw for a second. Has a little bit of success actually as well. Goes back jabs, hook to the body. Simon's hook up against top. the ropes. Hook up top. The uppercut but nothing landing. Nothing clean landing. Andre must be a little bit frustrated here. Well, he must be because he hasn't really been able to move uh, Simon Julian. <laughs> this is like, again, this is probably his second best fight he's had so far. Jerome Pascua. Nice the Jer Jerome Pascua fight, he probably learnt a lot. This might be something he's also learning against Simon Julian. Absolutely. And what amazing movement you just see. He does. He is, he's a very athletic middleweight, very fast. And like it's like one of those things that he ducked run, but he wasn't like running away. He's running away and come back, reset, and ready to go for another round. He is puffing pretty hard, though. Look at him. Now, I'm not sure if this is a four-rounder or a six-rounder, but we're going into the fourth round now. This is the second time Andre has actually reached uh, this far into the fight. He looks a little tired. Andre? Yeah, he does. Breathing fairly heavily. This could be a bit of a gut check for him. I see Andre, he just went, he just did that whole woo kind of thing as he sits down. He's very excited. So Simon Julian has actually reached the decision a couple of times in his career. He's actually gone the full six rounds in the past as well. So Simon will be conditioned and would be know what's like to go in the deep end. Andre knows from one fight against Jerome Pascua. Let's see how he does. And Simon Julian managed to land a right uh, counter punch. Nice uppercut from Simon Julian there as well. You get the feeling that it, it, it's definitely going to be a case of it. He's probably watched Mikhailovich's fights. He knows Mikhailovich loads up with every punch. He spends a lot of energy in those early rounds looking for knockout type shots. So he'll know if he can just take the shots and not take anything too clean, going into the later rounds, which we're sort of getting into now in the fourth round, he might have a shot at just taking him into Ooh. deep waters and drowning him a little bit. You know, when uh, Simon Julian, when he covers his body, he covers his body quite tightly, so he's definitely f f feeling those body shots. Oh, 100%. I mean, Mikhailovich is a very heavy body puncher. And just caught him with a little left hook there. Even when Mikhailovich gets caught kind of out of position, he's still got time to get out. The smart move for him here might be just to conserve a bit of energy. And as I say, take a little bit off his punches. You know, um, Simon Julian has only been knocked out once in his career, and that was against uh, Mark Kassab from uh, Australia. Right. And Mark has uh, 10 wins, 0 losses. Uh, had a couple, has a couple of titles over there in Australia. How, so many, how many rounds has he, uh, how many fights has, has, uh, has he fought? With, well, Simon, about three, uh, three wins, 4 losses, I believe. Okay. Even with losses, it's fights, isn't it? It's, it's experience. Yeah, and it's uh, a lot more experience than, uh, I guess, a lot more pro experience than Andre does as well. But Andre has the more the experience of winning. That, that's the thing. He does. Both, both guys look a little bit tired, but Mikhailovich to me looks really tired. So, you know, this could actually play in Simon's favour, but I guess he's... Oh, his, that hit made his uh, next um, slap back. Yeah, but he took, he took it and kept on. He kept on, took it and kept on trucking. 
Oh, nice uppercut from Mikhailovich. Oh, low blow. Low blow. Mikhailovich just needs to calm down. He's the better fighter. He's the more talented fighter. Just got to relax in there. And accept that, you know, in well, fights, you don't always get it your own way, do you? Now, let's see what Andre does. He just received a low blow. Is he going to retaliate with another low blow himself, or is he going to bring out his frustration? Because he, he did actually scream out, like, like, come on, mate, let's, let's keep this clean, kind yeah. of thing. End of the fourth round. So I guess we are going to full six. Uh, it is a six-round fight by the looks of it. Yep. So far, a shutout for Mikhailovich. I think you'll feel a little bit, a little bit uh, frustrated, as you say, with his performance tonight. I just think he hasn't quite strung his combinations together as, as he and his corner would have liked to have seen. It would have seen a lot, see a little bit more working off that jab. You can see uh, Andre, he looks pissed off in his, in, in his corner right now. Yeah, and as I say, he looks a, looks a little tired. He is and, smiling. Oh, no, no, there you go, he's smiling now. Maybe he's just, uh, you know, amping himself up, you could say. Well, he fights with a lot of emotion, which is great. It's part of the showmanship that will, I think will gain him a large following. But you, you've also got to learn to fight within the emotion, if you know what I mean. The greatest showman, as they always say. Yeah. Um, because, you know, it can take a lot out of you. Now let's see what he does. Is he going to... Oh! This is a stiff a jab from Simon to Andre. He's showing he is tough. Oh, nice right hand from uh, Mikhailovich there. Nice body shot. Nice oh, right hand. Are we going to see a brawl? And return. Are we going to see a brawl here? Well, that's. N I mean, Mikhailovich doesn't have to get. He doesn't have to get careless here. I think if he does get careless, he might get in trouble as well because, it's like, he, as you say, he fights with emotion, and if emotion overpowers you, you just you just lose control. That and he fights with his hands very low down, <laughs> so he's always he's always going to be susceptible to something coming back. Oh, you can hear that left hook hitting Simon Julian, but Simon retaliated with a right uh, uh, so, right Simon, strike. Simon Julian just is teak tough, isn't he? He's he made is out of, very tough. Made out of granite. Oh, everyone from the Taranaki is made out of yeah. granite by the looks of it. Nice right hand oh. from Mikhailovich. Mikhailovich had his next snap back again. Do you think Andre underestimated Simon a little bit? Um, hard to say. I mean, we, we weren't in the, we're not in the corner. We're not in his head. Um, I, I think he's a showman and he wants to put on a show and Part of putting on a show is, you know, spectacular kind of one-punch knockouts. And that's great to see. But at times when you've got a guy that's really tough in front of you, that has a good chin, you've got to kind of... You can't really do the one-punch knockout. No, you you've just... set up the combination. Yeah, you've got, to, you've, got to, you've got to set everything up. And you set it up with combinations. Oh, there we go. This might be it. Simon Julian's in trouble. But Simon Julian comes back. Julian was pretty savvy there. He caught a lot of those punches on the gloves, waited for Mikhailovich to punch himself out. Mikhailovich, to his credit, knew he wasn't maybe as hurt as the crowd thought he was, backed off. But a nice moment for Mikhailovich. And just reset himself and maybe try again a little bit later in the round. Maybe in the next round. But, yeah, well, so what Mikhailovich needs to do in a fight like this where he's got such a tough guy in front of him is he just... I, I, I sound like up. a broken record, but he just... He's, Needs to pump that jab, pump that jab, and then start working combinations off the body. Ten seconds to go up, on this up fifth top. round. Next round is the last round. And really put put a win together rather than make it happen with, with one punch. There's a couple of punches that Simon's actually landed first before Andre in this the last uh, couple of moments of the that round. Oh, oh wow. wow. That cut is really opened up. Maybe the doctor will come have a look at it. Is it Jesse Peaches' as trainer? He's having a bit of a tough word with Andre. He's telling him maybe just to calm down. Okay, here comes the doctor. She is on the apron now. 
you know, in a fight like something, in a fight like this, where you're the better guy, you can sometimes beat yourself by by getting careless and making mistakes and taking risks you don't need to take. I break it, break him down. Now that's that's the phrase I was looking for. I, I believe they go and continue on with the fight. The cut is not that bad yet. In a fight like this, where you, you've got a tough guy in front of you, you've just got to break him down. And yeah, exactly, exactly. And the way you break a guy down is punches and bunches. You know, just just work on him. The and body shots. The body shots, putting combinations together. As I say, maybe not loading up with every punch, but throwing a quick jab and a double jab and then a quick combination off of it and then get out. With these cuts, you need to ha have a lot of vaseline and like adrenaline um, on yeah. you with you that to stop the bleeding. I and haven't to seen that. You know, Simon Julian is one tough guy, isn't he? I mean, boy, oh boy. Well, yeah, he is one tough guy, who, and like I, I don't think a lot of people here would have expected him to reach this far against Andre of all people, Andre. Mm. I wonder yeah. if they've got a lot of vaseline on his uh, cuts. I can't see from here, but uh, as you say, vaseline, adrenaline, that sort of stuff. Now, if I'm Andre, I'm thinking, well, I've, I've, I've got five rounds in the bag, pretty much. Don't get careless. Don't get careless. But I suspect he's just not that kind of fighter. <laughs> well, I remember there was this Australian against a Kiwi down in Tauranga. It was Anthony... Ta oh, was Simon, uh, Simon Julian in trouble there? Or no? He caught, uh, again, he caught a lot of that on the gloves. Anyway, um, I had this Anthony Taylor versus some guy from Aussie. And Aussie won every single round in the 12 rounds. But then he got bloodlust and was like trying to get the knockout, and then um, Anthony Taylor won. Yep. But just got caught. Have seen it happen. And this, that's what Andre needs to not do. Just don't get carried away. You've won the fight. Just make sure this they end the round with style. Exactly. Just boxing fundamentals this round. And, uh, and, and so far he looks like he's doing it moving nicely. And that's what he needed to do just then. Just uh, weave, get out of the yeah. way. Pop that jab out. He can still he can still fire off the jab. And as for Simon, he needs to get uh, risky. Get risky and just um, try and get more aggressive. Yeah, very hard to do when you've got such a hard punch in front of you. And there we go, right overhand right. Takes right an enormous right. amount of bravery to, uh, to be able to do that. Nice body shot, nice right hand. But Julian answers back with a with a little left hook of his own. Andre didn't need to, doesn't need to be in the inside, but obviously he wants to take it toe to toe with Simon Julian. But he just needs to be careful. Yeah, I just I get the feeling it's not in his DNA, <laughs> which is why he's going to be such an exciting fighter to watch. There we go. He's just moving, just up and down. He knows that he's won this fight. But he's also spending a lot of energy in those last couple of punches. He is. As I say, every punch is a kind of a knock it out of the park punch. And I think if he and, uh, and Jesse Peach can work on something in the gym, it'll be just to mix up his punching power a little bit and not put all the mustard on, on, uh, on one shot. Maybe he needs to do more body work if he really wants to do, uh, end this uh, yeah. fight. Oh, nice there uppercut. Nice that definitely pushed Julian there back. There we go. Now he's got him a little bit hurt. Is he had a little bit of blood on the back of the head of Simon Julian. Yeah. Uh, in the corner here, Simon Julian's in trouble. Still throwing back though. He's catching oh, a lot of those on the glass, locked. but that right hand he's really down. hurt him. And that's it. I know, if it was another round, Andre could have actually ended it. Maybe just an extra 10 seconds and it would have been gone. Very impressive. But what I liked about the last minute of that round, did you see the way he put punches together to set up that right hand at the end? Yeah, he, exactly. he, he built it. Do you know what I mean? He built it, did the fundamentals that he needed to do, and he got the win. If he'd, if he'd put more moments together like that in the fight where he'd actually put punches together in combinations, I think he might have got a stoppage tonight. But... Hey, he's young, he's learning, it's another win. Another uh, six round win as well. Six round win, he didn't lose really a minute of any round. Uh, take it to the bank, it's experience, on to the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming along tonight on behalf of Peach
Well, this will be an easy one. <laughs> you can do this blindfold. Yeah. And big round of applause for Simon Julian because he didn't have to take that much punishment. A lot of other fighters would have just sat down, taken an eight count or ten count and, and let, the, let the fight end. Winning by unanimous decision, but he won Andre. A, Andre Mikhailovich. He wanted to end his last fight on on his feet, and credit credit to uh, to Julian for doing that. I just got a message from Nigel Elliott that said that if Simon Julian was not injured from this fight, he will fight Gunnar Jackson on September 22nd in Cambridge. Wow. That is a big, that's I guess a big announcement here. If Simon Julian's actually doing fine. However, he does have a cut. So let's hopefully that cut's not too bad. Yeah. And in some ways Gunnar Jackson may be not as terrifying a puncher as uh, Andre Mikhailovich. Now let's see how this goes. Uh, hopefully Simon's not uh, too bad in the bruises because that, that'd be a nice fight actually. Taranaki versus Taronga it right should, there. Well, it certainly would be. Well, what an amazing fight night we've had tonight. We'll sign off here. I am Benjamin Watt and we've got the B unit. B unit. B unit or Boonit. B unit. Boonit. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. You can see us right back here with more uh, post-fight interviews and exclusive looks into the fighters' lives right here on Glad Wrapped. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs>